okay, well, this quarantine thing makes me really bored, so I decided to do what I could do best, and that is make games. So I decided to make 2048 because I was bored. Alright, so first things first that every good programmer should do is figure out what the heck you need to do. So first thing I did is I went to the 2048 website and I just played around. I figured out what could and what couldn't happen. I tried my best to figure out all the movements a player can make and all the mechanics that the game itself actually had in store for us. So basically what you can do as a player is you could use the arrow keys to move up, down, left, right. And the pieces, what they could do is hold a value that was base 2. And if you collide with a piece that is the same base 2, then you go multiply by 2. So first thing we had to do was set up the piece. The piece all had to do was display the number and move along with the other pieces. So here I am setting it up so I get a random base 2 when it spawns in. There's 2, there's 4, this one will be 8. The next thing we need to do is set up the board so that the bottom left corner is aligned to 0, 0 because this will be very important for uh, the, uh, the array we're going to be having later when it comes to spawning in the pieces. So basically the bottom left corner is now 0, 0 so that the pieces can be correspond with next. Now what we're doing is making it so that the pieces can move in any direction. We want them to move in the cardinal directions of north, south, east, or west. And the next thing that I do have to, have to do after that is make it so that all the pieces move in unison. And you can only make movement when all the pieces have stopped moving. So here is a bad example as they were moving. Well, they weren't supposed to be moving, but it's basically if you hit left, you can only hit right again once there's no moving pieces. Like so, like I'm mashing the keyboard and they just won't move. Here's a better example. As I mash array on the keyboard, I have to wait for everything else, and then that is pretty much it with the movement. And as you saw there, there's a new thing I have to do is making it so that <laughs> collisions work. So I have to collide with other piece, check the value of the other piece. If the piece is equal, then you uh, increase the value times two. And if it's not, you just say, you know what, we really do be colliding. So I believe that was a successful run. This might be a better one. Uh, oh, it equals to 8. So there we go. So now basically all we have to do is a little bit of just testing. Because what we have to do, the, the last thing we have to do is spawning in a piece. What I had at the beginning, which caused me such a headache and I didn't even realize it until very late on, is that the piece I had was, the piece spawning I had was random. It was 0 through 3, and it was just random X and Y. And I didn't realize how much that was screwing me over. But, yeah, basically, the spawning of the piece has to be systematic instead of random, because you can't spawn a piece on another piece. So you have to get an array, an array of all the, Im of all the pieces available, and then spawn where there is nothing. So basically what I did for that is... I used the zero in the corner very strategically because it would be zero, zero, and then using the formula of x plus y times four, I could get any position on the array, and then I could do that. So this is me now just uh, adding some flair to the game. When you uh, spawn in a piece, it now has color, and it's got a little bit of alpha fade in, and I actually went and uh, downloaded the 2048 font, so the text actually had that font, and now it looks pretty good. This is uh, also another thing I added was a game over. This is me losing for the first time, and here are the sound effects I made. Whoop! Puppy! Truly awe-inspiring sounds. Then. The one thing I did do was add a victory screen, and after that, I implemented the sounds, and this was my quick final product of the 2048 I made in under a day.
All right, that was pretty fun. It was really great because I learned a couple important lessons along the way. I learned the difference between um, math, math, uh, f dot rounds versus casting. Casting just cuts it off. It's like 0.9 will go to zero versus rounding will go to one. And the difference between um, a game object find game object dot find game objects with tag will create an array of the amount of pieces with a tag in a scene, and just having an array that is length 16, because then it will reset the array to the smaller amount. But yeah, that was pretty fun. Um, I had a fun time doing it. It was a good challenge. And everyone stay in your house and wash your hands because I want to get the fuck outside because this was, this was, I, I just, just stay inside. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.